This is a video on how to change a home computer UPS battery. This is a computer UPS that you commonly see. It comes in maybe a 600 VA capacity. It has a 12 volt battery like this. A lot of people try tend to change the UPS when the battery dies. Actually, it's, it's quite simple to change the battery in the UPS. All you need is a screwdriver like this. It's a star screwdriver. I'll also take you through some extra tips on the computer UPS, which involves something like a WD-40. These are optional and some oil and also a toothbrush. First, we'll proceed to remove the battery that's already inside. One thing to notice, a lot of these UPSs tend to not work when the battery is down. That is, you will think the UPS is gone bad because once the battery is down, even when you plug it in and switch it on, it may not switch on. So one might assume that the circuit board is gone or there's some problem with the electronics. But a lot of these UPSs I've seen have the battery powering the uh, some of the components. That is, the, if the battery voltage drops below a critical value, the circuit board or the relays are not powered. And hence, even if you plug on the mains, the lights don't come on. So it may not actually be a problem with the circuitry inside the UPS. It might be a problem with the battery. So if that happens, don't think the UPS is faulty. It may be just the battery that needs to be changed. So coming to the battery replacement part, you just turn the UPS over. What I normally do is I stick the manual or the instructions of this a thin brochure, I stick it under the UPS so that I don't use, lose it. And I do this for quite a few of my electronic gadgets like these, where it's pretty convenient. It stays underneath, it doesn't get damaged, and it stays with the device. You can do this for some of your audio gear or other electronic devices that needs a manual with it. So you have the four screw holes here. So you put the screwdriver in and once it's locked, you can feel it's locked on the star head and turn it. Loosen all the four screws. So once uh, the screws are completely loose, you can see it move freely. So then you know that it's all been unscrewed properly. When you tilt, the UPS, the screws might just fall off, so do it carefully. And then when you turn, the screws will drop down. Lift the UPS once more, take the screws and keep it somewhere secure that you don't knock it off. just lift the top part gently it's it mostly has two halves one holding the battery part and one which is the top part you'll find the battery there with the black connected to the negative and the red connected to the positive. So gently pull it out. And you can just lift off the battery. One thing to notice, never do this with the power plug plugged in. Always remove the power plug and do such things. Now take the new battery that needs to be put in. Uh, 
I normally tend to keep the warranty details on the battery itself. You can use a cello tape to secure the two sides so it doesn't come off. The advantage is when you need to replace the battery, you have the date and the seal on the battery itself. Keep the battery back in. And this part be very careful because you should not by any chance mix up these wires. Always remember the red here goes into the positive and the black goes into the negative. This is where I'd like to give you one tip. This is actually 2T oil that is used in the automotives. The terminals on the battery tend to corrode over a period of time. It, it may not happen often, but there is a probability that it might happen. So I've got 2T oil in this small dispenser. Just put one drop of the oil on either terminal before you plug in the connections and once you've done that slide in the negative and then the positive again note that this part is really important where you don't mix up the colors When you plug in the second terminal, you might see a small spark that is perfectly okay. Now carefully put the cover back on. There might be channels on the sides. Carefully align the channel so that they don't jack out and make sure that all the sides are aligned properly. hold the top and the bottom side this is the bottom side this is the top side and then tilt it rest the top part on the surface turn it around these are not stainless steel so there is a possibility that the, this may rust over a period of time so dab a small dot of oil on the screw and drop it in. Do that for all four. You can also do the same to the tip of the screwdriver. Just a small drop and then tighten the screws. Note that you shouldn't over tighten the screws because this is metal going into plastic and if you overdo the tightening it'll damage the plastic threads so once you feel a tightness you just stop it there so basically you tighten and you do it with two fingers and if you feel that it's tight enough just leave it there don't use your full hand and turn we'll just test the ups now just turn it on and it's working another tip that i'd like to suggest is if you want the what happens is over a period of time the surface of the ups gets dirty so i've already cleaned this that's where the wd-40 a little bit of tissue paper and toothbrush comes in you can clean the these surfaces with the toothbrush which are hard to reach and also the front surfaces you may have grills and crevices and the WD-40 you just I've already run it so it doesn't need cleaning but I'll just you just spray a little bit of WD-40 on the surface and with a tissue paper just rub it in this will prevent the moisture from forming and also 
give the surface a good shine so that's it for now thank you for watching